Pompeo, Trump sent by God to save Jews. Here's a summary of the article. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has said it is possible that President Donald Trump was sent by God to save the Jewish people from Iran. The holiday, Purim, commemorates the rescue of the Jewish people by Queen Esther from the Persians, as the interviewer noted to Mr. Pompeo. He was asked if President Trump right now has been sort of raised for such a time as this, just like Queen Esther, to help save the Jewish people from an Iranian menace. Since becoming president, Mr. Trump has sought a hard-line stance against Iran. In May 2018, Mr. Trump withdrew the U.S. from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action nuclear deal, calling it a horrible one-sided deal. Mr. Trump announced a change in U.S. policy toward the Golan Heights, saying that the territory Israel has occupied from Syria since 1967 should be recognized as part of Israel. In recent days, Mr. Trump has accused his Democratic rivals of being anti-Israel and anti-Jewish. This post received a score of 4,761, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Remember how they said Obama was the Antichrist? We're getting into this is getting pretty fucking obvious territory with a quote like this. Subtlety and subtext have been dead since 2016. 2019, it's getting a little on the nose now. Subtlety and subtext only thrive in a world that is educated and capable of detecting nuance. We're far beyond that now. I'm pretty sure the education and capability is still there. The issue is more that people are choosing to be willfully ignorant just so they could be outraged. Rather than asking, is this what it looks like to me? People seem to be convinced that this is a terrible thing and everyone in my circle needs to know about it so we can be publicly angry together. Reddit had a meme for a long time about grabbing pitchforks in the comments, but I think part of the reason that it died out is because it became too real. Nate Silver has a bit where he compares the printing press to the internet. Everyone believed printing press would bring enlightenment by making everyone more informed, but instead it ushered in an era of holy wars. The Protestant Reformation in particular. Martin Luther wasn't the first guy to call the Catholic Church out, but he was the first to get 100,000 copies of his ideas printed. Everyone believed that the television would bring about a world of culture and education and a well-informed population, too. Once we see that people from other cultures and parts of the world are a lot like us we will be able to empathize with them and see we are all the same. Either that or watch people yell at each other in restaurants and celebrities dancing, whatever. Evangelical, white, Christians supporting a three-time philanderer, as the Messiah wannabe, as two of his kids converted to Judaism. Can't make this level of mess up. Two? I thought it was just Ivanka? Son two. Doofus or douchebag? Beavis or butthead? Uday or Kusi? If someone made this list about a different set of idiot brothers, Don Jr. or Eric, would be a perfectly acceptable reply. I look forward to seeing it, smiley face. So, according to Pompeo, Trump is the Jews' messiah. He's not the messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Follow the good. Blasphemy. Follow the sandal. I was mute for 18 years, for he came along. A miracle, another miracle. Jew here. No, thank you. We're good. The fact that his supporters literally are screaming, Jews will not replace us, should be the first indication that the Jewish community does not need him. Pompeo is a lunatic. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.